Coma Comics here. Let me tell you, it has been a long time since I recorded a video. Just been telling some friends of mine that I'm actually feeling like, I don't know, a little bit more motivation, a little bit more energy, just a little bit better about things. Not that I was feeling horrible or anything, but like, let's make a video. So it's just an old-fashioned haul video. Don't expect nothing special. A little free comic book day tinge on it. But then just all the stuff I've been picking up at half price and everywhere else. So let's get started. First of all, some cards, man. Since the last time I seen you all, I've been getting into some cards and collect what you love. And I love me some Chelsea. So right there, I got my Cole Palmer rookie card, my Lauren James rookie card. Picking up some rookie cards. There's another Cole Palmer rookie card. There's another. Is that a rookie card? Um, that's the first Chelsea Cole Palmer card. There's the uh, Panini rookie. Little uh, whatever action that's called. This is a nine. I have no idea. And that is not the. That is a rookie card too. But that is um, Merlin is the company, which is different, I guess. I don't know a lot about cards. It's all kind of new to me. Boom. Just grabbing a few here and there. And I got one or two more. Um, but, you know, figured take your favorite Chelsea player. Not Maybe not my favorite Chelsea player. There, There is uh, an investment factor in that. Like, if Cole continues on his trajectory, that rookie card's going to be worth something. If not, I still have a great card from a player on a team that I love. Might not be my absolute favorite Chelsea player, but... That's another hour-long video that we're not going to go into. So, the son and I drove up to Seattle today um, and uh, went to Phoenix Comics and Games for a little new comic, a free comic book day action. And you've seen these everywhere before, so I'm going to run them through quick. I just grabbed the ones I was interested in. I actually like that cover. Um, usually, <laughs> free comic book day stuff is pretty, pretty weak. Um, Grab the turtle one, just because it's Star Wars, but I'm not going to read that. I'll go in the bag, and uh, boom. This I love. Asterix and Obelix. I don't know if you guys ever read this. My Latin teacher had them. They're French comics, um, and she used to have the trade, the trades, and we'd read them in Latin class because um, they were loosely <laughs> took place around the time that the uh, Roman barbarians were trying to invade Gaul, which is what they called France back then, if I recall. Um, so yeah, did that. Got myself voices. I'll just go straight to the classroom as a classroom read. I thought this would be uh, interesting for me to read because I don't know all of his worlds. I do like James Tinian. Tinian, Tinian. I call him Tinian. Um, boom. Romeo and Juliet and Kill Shakespeare. I never got into the Kill Shakespeare stuff too much, but it would be worth to give another one a read. And it sounds like something that my students might get into. And then the reason why I chose to go to um, that particular store is because G. Willow Wilson was there, um, and I have not seen her in like a year or two. I usually see her once a year at ECC. She even said this. She's like, I usually see you once a year at ECC or at uh, here. I'm like, yep. So it's kind of cool to be recognized. Hopefully I'm not too much of a dorky fanboy. But I got her signature on this Fallen Friend one, which I thought was really cool. She did not write this, but... Because I've got Iman Vellani's signature on it, I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to go ahead and get, um, get G. Willow Wilson just so I can have both of their signatures. There's Iman Vellani, there's G. Willow Wilson. I just need to like, um, I need to have the two of them signed somewhere. Uh, if you're not reading Hunger and Dusk, I highly suggest it. Um, it's beautifully in your cover to number one, but it's also really beautiful. Hey, sweetie, I'm not live, I'm recording. So, I don't know, you're still in the way either way. Can you pour me a glass of wine after you pour yourself one? Um, really beautiful book, really great comic, uh, really great read. Uh, volume 2 is coming out this summer. I think they did like six issues of, or maybe four issues, I can't remember. Um, Poison Ivy, there's like a thousand billion gorgeous covers on this. The David Nakayama um Cardstock covers are a little racy, um, but this was the only number one I had, and so did I get her to sign it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I can't see it. Right up there, I was holding it. Boom. And finally, I had this great uh, Babstar, I think this is a 1 in 25 um, for volume uh, 
G. Willow Wilson's second volume on uh, on Miss Marvel, and uh, I it came. I found this for like a dollar at um, Half Price Books. It came with a Babs Tar signature, so I got Willow to sign that, which is pretty cool. Um, Zach Davison was there, and I did have some Demon Wars stuff, but not a lot, and I couldn't find it all, so I didn't get him to sign anything. And then, oh, I don't get too many. But I do love them when I get them. If you've never read this, man, it's a really, really great read. It's like a sci-fi, uh, mythology, religious, like, an undertone adventure. But the big, bad, evil um, corporation is an allegory for Amazon, at least in my mind. Um, and it's beautiful artwork. Uh, and I've never finished it. I've got like issues one through nine. I think I was switching LCSs uh, when the series finished. So I never got the last ones, but uh, just beautiful signature. And then I got G. Willow Wilson to sign inside. Um, I like to buy stuff at stores when I go for free comic book day too, because you know, they have to pay an incredible amount of money to be part of free comic book day. And the idea is to get like uh people into the store so i'm like okay i'll do that um that's just recent stuff that i'm still reading i'll put that down there and let's see i'm just going to go through like my haul for the last couple weeks uh see what we got here art of tomb raider if you look at those artist lists there it's like all right that's cool uh and mcp that i was missing finally i actually paid ten dollars for this but i didn't have this and i wanted to I wanted to have it, so boom, got the well, first, what is it, White Fox, just a modern book that I didn't have, and it's come down a lot, so I figured I'd go for that. Um, I did not have, or I did not finish this, I think I've got issues one and two, it was kind of fun, it's like a murder mystery at like a British baking competition, um, so it's kind of cute, I read, like I said, the first two issues, found three and four at half price, figured I'd jump on them, uh, I'm trying to get this entire Guardians Run by Guardians Run by Abnet uh, and Lanning and just picking them up once in a while. Day Tripper is seriously one of the absolute best comics I've ever read. Uh, I've got the trade paperback. Don't know why I'm trying to finish it. In, well, I do know why because I'm obsessed with finishing runs. That's why I'm trying to finish it in good old comic book fashion. So there you go. Uh, Pit. Um but it is a newsstand that will go to Rob, not near Mint. Still have this box to set off here. I really need to <laughs> send that off. Um, right here, we've got just a Spider-Man uh, team-up um, with Spider-Man Thing, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, and Quasar. Very, very early 80s sort of like action, but I got it because I think they probably missed a price tag, so it was only 50 cents. I'm like, yeah, I'll grab I've got this multiple times, but yeah, I will always grab this when I can. A newsstand, uh, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, Star Wars, absolutely. I found these really cool. Um, somebody recreated the, uh, these are not in the order that they should be. Somebody recreated the X-Men 1 covers uh, using Marvel action figure toys. Um, so these, not comics, these are just little posters. I thought that was kind of cute, so I grabbed those. Got myself some more. I love Crush um, as a character. Really like the only DC thing that I follow. I've got the Crush and Local miniseries. I got that Crush. I grabbed that. Um, I did some work at a local comic book shop, uh, helping them sort comics and, and, and stuff, and uh, that's where I got these, actually, and where I got this. Um, which, unfortunately, I didn't realize had some fading, so... Uh, cool that it's a newsstand, but nothing too special. I grabbed this, because I don't think I have this one. I grabbed this, because it's the first time um, that Nova and Miss Marvel and Miles team up. I grabbed these, because I'm collecting them. And I think I grabbed this, or I might have grabbed this at half price now, I'm not sure. Uh, oh no, this is still from, from uh, Tricky's where I was working. This is really cool because uh, they call this The Beauty. 
right? And then Jeremy Hahn uh, went ahead and rewrote this as beauty for uh, image. So I, I guess like they started and stopped again. Not exactly sure, but I figured I'd throw that with my beauty collection. I have a copy of this that uh, was pretty messed up. So I grabbed this one. This is the first all new Fantastic Four featuring um, the Hulk, Grey Hulk, Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Ghost Rider. And this one is in way much better condition than my previous one. So I am happy with that. Yeah, I bought it from uh, one of the online auctions from a guy that I knew, and it turned out to be a crappy copy. And then I always go, shoot, did I know that was a crappy copy? Did he say it was a crappy copy? And I get nervous, like, calling them out on it, so I just end up eating it. <laughs> I like that Witchblade. He had like a, a hundred run of Witchblade. I just grabbed that one. Grabbed a little power pack to do stand. Um, all right, the rest of this is from somewhere other than, uh, I don't know where this is from. I'll just keep going. Another Marvel Comics Presents I need. I don't think I paid $5 for this, but a DC Universe Worlds Collide. I am collecting the whole run of Worlds Collide. It's DC meeting the uh, Milestone Universe. I think I needed that. I know I don't need that, but I definitely got that because I've got another one of the Stephanie Hans um, Buffy, so I'm kind of collecting a second set of those. A little more dreaming. Some Transformers I found cheap. Apparently some empty bags as well. Y'all don't need to see empty bags. Oh, that's it. Okay, this other stuff. Oh, it's going to be much shorter than I thought. <laughs> this is just stuff I haven't put in boxes yet. That's my Elf and Super Friends collections. Uh, so that's it. I wasn't expecting to end that quickly because I literally just hit like an end point that I did not know was coming up. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. That was cool. Like I said, I have not done that in a long while. It felt good. And uh, I'll see you later. Take care.